Greetings, folks. Today is Friday, May the 3rd, 2019. I'm Tom Weaver, and this is Constitution Matters. Of course, being Friday, it has to rain. Now, it's not raining off and on, but it's, I mean, it's not raining the whole day. It's just misty, cloudy, yucky. <laughs> Uh, it's uh, more west of us that has a lot of the rain today. But still, it's Friday and there's got to be rain somewhere in Pennsylvania today. All right. Well, if you uh, look at the screen, it says Constitutional Collective. Now, what in the world does that mean? Well, so often I hear people talk about individual rights. I've uh, used the term my rights uh, a number of times throughout life. And they are my rights, but not mine alone. And that's why I say constitutional collective. You see, the preamble starts with the words, we the people not we the individuals we the people the second amendment says that the people have a right to bear arms it doesn't say individuals do it says the people do and so where people have rights individuals do too because they are part of the people they are part of a collective. Am I making myself clear? You see, I don't believe in just individual rights. Because individual rights gets us into trouble. If we have individual rights, it is therefore possible for individuals to have different rights. And that's not constitutional. For example, uh, we got Roe v. Wade because of individual rights. This one woman was given certain rights that no one else had. Our rights are held by everyone. The right to bear arms is held by everyone, male or female. Doesn't matter. They are rights of the collective. And because they are rights of the collective, we as individuals share in those rights. I've heard, like I said, I forget what I was listening to. Uh, I don't know if you heard that, but I just yawned. <laughs> it, it just came. I... You know, normally when I do things like that, I like to pause recording, but <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, I don't know why. I've been tired a lot lately, of course. Maybe that's because of the health issues that I have and I've been having this week. All right. So, I do, do I need further explanation here? Um... Uh, Oh, I was uh, in the midst of set, talking about Roe v. Wade. Yeah, the Supreme Court made a mistake. They ascribed individual rights to this one woman. Therefore, she had been given, and therefore other women has been given, rights that some people don't have. 
do I am I do you understand what I'm saying? Because of the concept of individual rights, somebody can have a right that you don't have. I mean, how would you like it if I had a right of freedom of speech and you don't? Think about it. Anyway. So, everybody has the same rights, according to the Constitution, and that is one of the reasons Roe v. Wade is unconstitutional, because it gives individual rights. So, and because... She has individual rights. Uh, those rights also go to all other people like her, which are pregnant women. A pregnant woman can say, this is my body. Okay? And I have this right. But you see, she, they have a right that nobody else has. They have a right that men don't have. And that's what makes it unconstitutional. In order for Roe v. Wade to be constitutional, men have to have the same right. All right? Okay. So, yeah, we don't have individual rights. We have collective rights. And I know some people don't believe that. Sounds too communistic. <laughs> Not really. You see, I have the same right as you do. You have the same rights as I, I have. I have the same right as my neighbor, and my neighbor has the same right as I do. And on and on and on. We all have the same rights. They are not catered to the individual. All right? You can't find that anywhere. We, the people, people, people is not individuals. It's not an individual. It is, it might be a group of individuals, but it is not individual. There are individuals within a group of people and therefore those individuals have the same right because they're in a group of people that have those rights. Does that make sense? All right. I don't know how else to explain it. If I think of it, I'll be back. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have collective rights, not individual rights. That is my commentary for now. Thanks for listening.